Hey, and welcome to The Changeover. My name is Ian, and this is Ira. Hi. Hey. We're from <laughs> EssentialTennis.com. And in The Changeover, Ira and I pick a topic that is somewhat controversial within the sport of tennis, and we debate to the death. For, a, for ice cream. <laughs> for, or, or for ice cream, whichever is easier. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about gamesmanship. This is, this is a big one. It applies to professional players. It probably more so applies to amateur players or recreational players where there's not uh, a ref and a crowd like <laughs> to keep you somewhat, uh, somewhat honest. Mind. So should it, is it good or bad? Should it be... Uh, allowed or not, and I started the last one. I feel like you need to explain yourself here. Oh, well, first well, of all, you want to read... define gamesmanship. All right, so as, as per the, uh, the expert in all things, Wikipedia, uh, <laughs> says gamesmanship is the use of dubious, although not technically illegal, methods to win or gain a serious advantage in a game or sport. It has been described as pushing the rules to the limit without getting caught, using whatever dubious methods possible to achieve the desired end. And you're okay with that? I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exp explain. <laughs> uh, there are a oh, couple... wait, 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 wait. We got to start, oh, yeah. Yeah, start the... Uh... There are a couple things that I would consider gamesmanship. <laughs> and... and... <laughs> Just a couple? It's, yeah. Uh, it's a, well, a couple more. But, uh, I would first go and, and bring up trash talking. All right. Not, so not define the, trash. Yeah, not in the traditional talking. sense, but in tennis, <laughs> I consider trash. Like, wait, wait, what is traditional trash talking? I, I think back <laughs> of like the Michael Jordans, the Gary Paytons, just kind of in your ear the entire time, getting inside your head. So an exa example, please, for the, for the for audience. For tennis so, or No, no, for, so what's something Michael Jordan would say? Oh, just that, you know, I'm going to take you over here and hit a jumper in your face, and there's really nothing you can do about it. They're going to pass, you know, get somebody else out here to guard me. This guy can't do it, you know, telling the coach <laughs> that. Uh, Gary Payton, you know, just constantly talking about you, your, your mother. Your jump shot, your shoes, your you know overall appearance. Now I understand that that's not really something that happens in tennis, and but however I think there are other ways to trash talk. For example, like in one of my matches last year, I was playing a guy who had aced me out wide four or five times within the first four game, two service games, and at one point I, I looked at him and I said. There's no way that I believe you're going to keep doing that for the rest of the match. And just by saying that, he no, at that point on, he did not ace me out wide one more time. And it was just that, that little inkling of doubt that I kind of like put, on, put in his head that there was no way that he was going to keep doing this. And that I just believe that eventually, it, you know, oh, like it was kind of like you're getting lucky by doing this. So that, that in my opinion, is trash talking in, in the sport of tennis. And like, or celebrating excessively, or fist pumping in somebody's face, and I think that's totally fine. Well, first of all, I'm actually again, I don't, I don't have a rule printed out. I'm pretty sure fist pumping in somebody in somebody's face actually is against the rules. Like, first like of all. this, but I'm talking like, in their general direction. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so you're totally fine with psychological warfare, warfare, absolutely trickery. Uh, um, trying to break down their self-esteem and their will to fight <laughs> yes absolutely now there are a couple there are a couple places in the rule book where gamesmanship is is addressed go ahead <laughs> and it's too specific too specific it actually honestly it wasn't as it wasn't as often as i thought it was going to be addressed mm -hmm. uh <laughs> I'm very you're, interested. You're, you're engaging in gamesmanship right now. That's aren't right. You? So, uh, first one was. Don't stutter your words. The topic of obvious faults. A player shall not, <laughs> shall not put into play or hit, the, or, or hit the net on an obvious fault. To do so constitutes rudeness and may ev even be a form of gamesmanship. So, in other words, the ball's clearly out and you just hit it just for the sake of hitting it. You disrupt the rhythm of the other the servers play. You take them off their game. The rules are saying that's 
That's against the rules because okay. it's, it's rude and it's gamesmanship. Okay. And then the other one is uh, related to bathroom breaks. Uh, in all divisions, a player must ask an official to use the bathroom. An official may refuse this request if the official determines that the player is resorting to gamesmanship. Okay. In other words, just going to the bathroom to ice, to ice your opponent or make them think about it or take them out of the rhythm or whatever. In other words, doing it just to try to affect the other person for no other, for no other reason other than to just mess with their head and try to get them off their game. If it happens one, I mean, yeah, if it's a repeated offense, then yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't think every time I don't, I'm I getting... I don't see anything in here about using the bathroom eight times. But who's, who's going to tell me that I don't have to actually use the bathroom at four or five <laughs> when they're about to serve in a critical part of the set? Maybe I'd have to go to the bathroom. I think it's kind of telling, actually, that the rules say... Um, uh, what does it say? If the official determines, if the official determines, AKA, and I mean, all of you watching can totally relate to this. You just, you know, when that other person is doing something just to mess with your head and just to be a jackass, it's usually pretty obvious, which is why the rules say if the official determines, there's no like set number. Okay, you can only have five bathroom breaks. Beyond that, you're just messing with the other person. Certain people just, just have this uh, tendency of just being obnoxious and annoying, and I don't think that should be allowed because, quite frankly, it just goes against the, you know, traditions of of our sport. Yeah, but if it's like, in my opinion, that's like kind of calling a timeout right before a kicker kicks a field goal to to win the game. That's okay. a deliberate attempt in game in in so, sports. So to be clear, you want tennis to be like the NFL? Is that uh, is that it? No, I'm just giving you an example <laughs> of of a, a totally unnecessary thing being taken a timeout before to ice the kicker purposefully done. And, and in tennis, who, like, honestly, who's to say whether or not I need to go to the bathroom for a reason beyond gamesmanship? It's apples and oranges, dude. The, NF, the, the list of nasty things that NFL players do during points, uh, during plays, uh, in between plays, uh, during the week, you know, talking smack on social media or whatever, Totally different. It's not even the same universe as far as sport, uh, sporting is concerned. But in that individual, that, that specific tactic is used to ice the opponent. It's not what's, against the rules, is what's, it? What's wrong with Game, going to the my bathroom? My point is, games, going to the bathroom isn't against the rules. Gamesmanship is not against the rules anywhere in football. Okay. It's totally different. Since we only have two minutes, I want to switch, switch it a little bit instead of the trash talking. I want to, get, I want to talk about hitting at somebody to throw them off. We're talking it, about it, gamesmanship uh, in general, but so, okay. okay so right. that's, that's gamesmanship in my opinion. If, if you have a sitter and instead of going around somebody, you just blast it right at them to throw off their mental state, I'm totally okay with that. Well, it depends on intent, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, but like, I'm trying to hit it right at them to going, rattle them. Going at a player can be the right tactical choice. It depends on the scenario. I'm talking about in like a, a short sitter at the net. They're sitting right at the net. Is you, it singles? In, is it doubles? Singles. singles. Is it, this is totally, how, how high is the ball? I mean, there's all kinds of scenarios. A short sitter. Uh, an easy ball that you can put away in any direction other than the player standing right there. I'm talking, you can go right, I would, I would go right at somebody just in the deliberate attempt to, 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 make, to piss them off and, and okay. to throw them off of their game. I would say there's a difference between gamesmanship and uh, intimidation is a strong word. But, but that isn't intimidation but, gamesmanship? I would say no. Really? I would say no. Asserting your will on the other player uh, other examples. To purposely o throw other them off. Other examples. Body serve. Flat, you know, hard body serve. Specifically to jam the person up. Uh, or I'm, going at somebody because you know they're going you know to fake and stay home or whatever. There's a lot of different scenarios where going at somebody is just a good tactical play. I'm, I'm talking about like a short sitter. They're at the net. Like, you know, when you see those volleyers or, you know, that up... Ex uh, an exchange up at close to the net, and a guy just goes around him and misses instead of going right at him. I'd to, say it, to it depends on. It's, we can tell their intent based on this scenario. In but other it, words, if it's singles and one player is on the other side of the court, there's open court on the other side, and somebody takes a sitter right at the person. Obviously, the intent there was to try to hit the player and try to hit close to them. Other times it's not so obvious. In doubles, for example, you got two, you know, uh, somebody who's close. It's just the right play if you have a sitter, as opposed to going to somebody who's back on the baseline. So, or, or hitting around them. If the if the intent is maliciously to try to hit the person, then 
to throw them off of their game, to get them thinking about something else that could create chaos inside their head. I'm totally fine with that. I think there's a difference between malicious intent and good tactical choices. I'll just leave it at that. Fair enough. <laughs> I can't wait till the next time we play. I'm gonna when when I'm serving or he's serving down eight nine in our tiebreakers. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> go to the bathroom. I'll tie my shoe or break a string on accident or lose my vibration dampener. I'm All gonna right. throw you off your game. I'm looking forward to that. It's on. All right. So tell us what you think in the comments down below. Uh, you know, there's a good a good amount of gray area kind of in this topic, but generally speaking, tell us what you think. Should gamesmanship be allowed? Or should we follow the rules? <laughs> uh, tell, tell us in the comments down below. In uh, the description, uh, we've got some coaching for you as well. And it's going to show you step by step how to hit the most accurate and consistent forehands and backhands that you've ever hit before. It's just a buck. And you're going to get a ton of value out of it, help you play better tennis. So check that out. With that, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, do us a favor and click like. And we'll see you on the next episode of the change changeover. <laughs> For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.